As the Concrete 6 has been released, it includes a great new features and improvements. This is Javier Encinas, and today I will provide a brief overview of the most important features and benefits of this new package of ASDIP Concrete 6. Let's get started. The package includes six modules, concrete columns, concrete beams, concrete on masonry bedding walls, one-way slabs, concrete shear walls, and this new module on two-way slabs. I have prepared an example of each module just to illustrate how they work. Let's open the example of a concrete column, double click. And this is the template of a concrete column designed in as deep concrete. At the left, you enter the information. The column can be rectangular or circular. Here you enter the rebars. And here at the bottom, the slenderness information, the length, and then the K factors. In the materials tab, you enter the material information for concrete and for the reinforcing steel. Then in the loads, the loads can be either pre-combined, one single set of loads, or a set of nominal load cases, and as they will combine them internally. The loads can be dead, live, roof life, snow, wind, and seismic. At the bottom, the second order moments are taken into account. The show parameters button shows the input information required for this analysis. At the right, we have the output. The at a glance shows a summary of the results just in one screen. Here in this example, everything is passing. If we go to the condensed tab, this is a more detailed set of calculations. These are grouped by topic, showing the controlling load combinations. If we go to the detail tab, this is a more detailed set of calculations, step by step, with references to the ACI code, also with exposed formulas for a granular check. If we go to the diagrams tab, here we show the interaction diagram, nominal, and then the design interaction diagram as well. The points represent the loads acting on this column. In this case, everything is uh, passing because all, all of them are inside the usable area. This is the 3D interaction diagram, which is dynamic, can be moved. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's open a calculation for a concrete beam. And this is a template for a concrete beam design in as the concrete. Here in the geometry tab, the beam type can be rectangular, can be T, spandrel beam, inverted T, or inverted L. For all of them, you enter the information regarding the geometry here, and then at the bottom, the spans. The program allows to model up to five spans and two cantilevers at the ends. The program allows to enter uniform, variable, concentrated, or moments loads, either pre-combined or nominal load cases. In the reinforcement, there are a number of controls that allow you to model the rebars in this beam. In addition, the program can design the rebars for you in the design manager. At the right, in the Ara glance tab, there's a summary of the results. In this example, everything is passing, including the bending, shear, and torsion results. At the bottom, the reinforcement ratios, and then the deflection check. In the condensed tab, a more detailed set of calculations with all the load combination results. If we go to the detail tab, a more detailed set of calculations with exposed formulas, references to the ACI code, shear design, bending design, and torsion design, deflections. Finally, in the graph tab, the diagrams tab, the program generates the shear and moment diagrams. And also it shows the shear strength and the bending strength for comparison purposes. In the construction tab, it's a beam elevation showing the rebars that uh, we just designed. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's open a calculation for a masonry bearing wall. And this is a template for the masonry wall design in ASDIP. In the geometry tab, we enter the information regarding the wall thickness. Then at the bottom, the slenderness information. In this case, it's a two-story wall, the mention shown here. The program also can design the openings at the, at the wall. For a given opening, you can design the jams and the lintels around the opening. This is the material properties. And then at the loads, you enter the information regarding the pressures on the wall for dead, life, roof life, no wind, and seismic, according to this figure. In the right pane, this is a summary of the results in the Ara glance tab. Everything is passing in this example. In the condensed tab, more detailed set of calculations, grouped by topic, with everything is passing also in this example. Finally, in the detail tab, a more detailed set of calculations, step by step with references to the TMS code, 
everything is passing as well. Finally, in the graph tab, the diagrams, the program shows the shear moment and actual diagrams for the two-story wall. And then in the interaction tab, the program shows the interaction diagram for this masonry wall with these uh, points representing the loads on, on the wall. Everything is passing because it's inside the usable area. Let's go back, open an example for a one-way slab. This is a template for a one-way slab designed in ASDIP Concrete 6. In the geometry tab, this is slab thickness. The program accepts up to five spans with two end cantilevers. Then in the loads tab, the loads can be either pre-combined or a nominal set of load cases. The loads can be uniform variable, concentrated at moments. And in the reinforcement tab, you can specify the top bars and bottom bars according to this image at the bottom. The program also can design the rebars for you using the design manager. At the right pane, the at a glance tab, a summary of the results. In this case, everything is passing, including bending design and shear design, reinforcement ratios and deflections. In the condensed tab, we scroll down, the support reactions, and more detailed set of calculation group by topics. Everything is passing per load combination. If we go to the detail tab, more detailed set of calculations, step by step, with references to the ACI code. Everything is passing in this example. Finally, in the graph tab, the program generates a beam elevation with the loads, and also the program generates the shear and the moment diagrams. Finally, in the construction tab, there's a slab elevation showing the rebars that we just designed in this example. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's open a calculation for a, a shear wall. And this is the template for a shear wall design in ASDIP Concrete 6. At the geometry, we entered information about the wall, wall length and wall thickness, then the wall height and the unsupported height. Here is information for the boundary members. The loads tab, the loads can be dead, live, roof life, snow, wind, and seismic, either pre-combined or a nominal load cases. The program also considers the seismic provisions in the ACI. At the right, in the at a glance, a summary of the results. Everything is passing except this ratio, which is 7% over. In the condensed tab, a more detailed set of calculations, grouped by topic. Everything is passing here. Finally, in the detail tab, a more detailed set of calculations with exposed formulas, step by step, references to the ACI code. Finally, in the diagrams tab, the program shows the interaction diagram for this shear wall, either nominal or design diagram. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's open a calculation for a two way slabs. This is a new module. In the geometry tab, the slab type can be two way slabs, beam supported, or flat plate without any beams flat plates with edge beams, or flat plate fully supported at the edge. Here we entered information about the dimensions and the spans. The program allows to specify up to five spans in each direction. In the loads tab, the program allows to enter a uniform load, dead, life, roof life, snow, wind, and seismic, either pre-combined or nominal load cases to be combined internally. In the reinforcement tab, there are some controls to model the rebars in this two-way slab. For the rebars in X, the rebars in Y, column strip, middle strip, or beams when they are present. At the right, the program shows a summary of the results. At the top, the slab design for column strip and middle strip, X direction and Y direction. And at the bottom, the beam design for bending and for shear in X and in Y. If we go to the condensed tab, some more detailed set of calculations, group by topic. These are the bending moments along the different strips in X and in Y. And this is a slab reinforcement calculation. And at the bottom, the beam design for bending and for shear. If we go to the detail tab, some more detailed set of calculations. This is a check of the limitations in the direct design method for per the ACI. Everything is passing in this uh, example. Then the slab thickness check. Then here are the calculation of the different bending moments along the strips. Here is the slab reinforcement design in the X direction and in Y direction. And here at the bottom is the design of the beam for bending. And finally, the problem you raise a plan view with the two-way slab showing the rebars that we just designed. As you can see, this new package, as the Concrete 6, 
includes uh, six modules uh, that would be very useful in any structural design office. If you like the software, please visit the website www.zipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.